Wrestling fans, you have made the wise decision of tuning in for CZW Stars of Today. Today we profile Adam Cole, the man who's been a world champion on every Wednesday night broadcast for the last several months. He started, however, at Combat Zone Wrestling. That's right here in the land of Ultraviolence. You can see as Adam Cole develops himself into the greatest wrestler in the world, baby. Anything about Adam Cole or his lifestyle of choice? Uh, Jordy's still out on that one. No holds barred in this one. Extreme rules. Oh. Tommy Dreamer, of course, snacking on some of the stuff in the ring. I'm not sure if Dreamer's. Dreamer now looks a little confused by Adam Cole. Is he kissing his oh. feet? Well, that is a hardcore legend. He is a legend, but I mean, come on. If Adam Cole kissing his feet. Oh, talking to clothesline. Adam Cole off the ropes, cross body. But Tommy Dreamer showing he still's got it. Oh, huge fall away slam. Dreamer off the ropes. Baseball slide. Sending Adam Cole into the guardrail. Tommy Dreamer taking his time with Adam Cole. Monkey flip right into the post. Slingshotting Cole face first into that hard steel pole. Dreamer taking a water break, trying to keep up with a young, hot athlete like Adam Cole. Well, really, the way I'm seeing is Adam Cole needs to pick up the pace a bit and keep up with Tommy Dreamer. Oh, and he's clear missing Nick Papa Giorgio. Oh. Our fans are truly like nothing else here in the combat zone. Adam Cole doesn't like that same action done to him. Again, Jory's still out of that one. Adam Cole now. Oh! Dropping Tommy Dreamer right across the guardrail. Oh, God. Oh! 
Adam, Adam Cole can get extreme. An 18 month former junior heavyweight champion, best of the best 10 winner. Yeah, we get it. He's a highly accomplished athlete. Oh, God! I'm actually quite impressed right now that Adam Cole showing that he can get ultra violent here in the combat zone. Adam Cole is afraid of nothing. Adam Cole will step in the ring with anyone. I think this is proof. <laughs> and he's pinpointed that leg of Tommy Dreamer. And for the first time, we're seeing Tommy Dreamer crawl around in, at the hands of Adam Cole. Oh! Adam Cole, you know, he may have some respect for oh. Tommy Dreamer, but when Adam Cole's in that ring, he shows his opponents no respect. Oh, huge shot across the chest of Adam Cole and Tommy Dreamer showing why he's been a legend in the Philadelphia area for many years. But, but Adam, Adam Cole smartly going right back to that knee, targeting the knee of Tommy Dreamer that had over 20 years of wear and tear on him from competing in that squared circle. Dreamer's given his life to this business, but Adam Cole plans on defeating Dreamer tonight and proving he's the oh. blood of this industry. And once again, there's Adam Cole showboating for the cameras. Adam Cole trying to make Tommy Dreamer tap out, but to no avail. And Adam Cole is still on the attack of that knee. He's allowed to say that word. Wait, no. Oh, now he's allowed to say that word. I got you. Sure he's in. Adam Cole is allowed to say whatever he wants. When you have the superstar prowess, presence, when you step into a building like Adam Cole does, you can do whatever you want. He can make outrageous demands. He's not quite a superstar just yet. Yes, he is. And he's oh. taking it to the innovator of violence who's trying to fight out of it. I will say, Adam Cole is a highly accomplished athlete, but he still has a long way to go here to be a true superstar and legend like you like to call. Be Dreamer, it might be one step closer to that. Dreamer's knees all tangled up in that chair. The extreme rules are actually at the disadvantage now of Tommy Dreamer. Adam Cole has made some obstacles work in his favor. He's made a career out of doing that. Adam Cole's made a career out of overcoming. Leg bar. Adam Cole's got the hand locks right above the knee of Tommy Dreamer. Applying the pressure on that kneecap still. If Adam Cole keeps this up, he could be victorious. Adam Cole now preparing to inflict more extreme violence on Tommy Dreamer. Oh. Tommy Dreamer working on that bad wheel. He might have to dip into his spare tires. Oh, look oh Dreamer. Can't even stand. Can't even run across that ring. Adam Cole now. He might want to stop playing with Dreamer and just put the match away now. No. Adam Cole wants to show Sammy Callahan that unlike him, he can defeat the poison that was oh, presented to him. Oh, God. That was his face. Oh, boo-hoo. Just like he was boo-hooing before about Tommy Dreamer falling on his knees. Dreamer now, this is where he's in his element. This is ultra-violent rules. Yeah. He, he was the pretty much capitalizing. He can't even get to his feet. Oh, and Dreamer now fighting with everything he's got. Taking it to Adam Cole. Sending Cole off the roof. No. Dropping him right down across his back. Tommy mustering his last ounces of energy oh. and courage. 
And Tommy Dreamer, look at it. Into right. a cross face. Right into a cross face of Adam Cole now. It's wrenching on the body of Cole, wrenching on the face. Cole, though, smartly. Cole trying to get to the bottom rope, and he does. But imagine the pain now Tommy is in. Tommy Dreamer now setting that chair up in the center of the ring. Cole now being sent off the ropes. Oh, Tommy Dreamer is special. Dropped Cole, fix, sending Cole face for the chair. One, two, and oh. Cole showing that young blood in him. He's able to kick out before a count of three. And now Dreamer starting to wonder what he's still able to do with that bad wheel. And you can still see he's, he's gingerly moving around that ring still. Oh, here we go. This could be it. Oh. And Adam Cole just sweeping that bad leg. Off the rope. Leg Larry into a cover here. One, two, and only a two count. And Tommy, once again, kicking out at the last second. Dreamers made a career out of being resilient. But Adam Cole has made a career out of crushing other people's dreams. Cole, you look like a letdown. Oh. We got to see a Kevin Nash powerbomb earlier. Maybe we'll get to see a Shawn Michaels super kick here. Adam Cole going for it. Oh, but he can't get him up for that Death Valley driver. And into that super kick, and that's all she wrote. One, two, and oh! And the most super kick ever wasn't enough to put down Tommy. Tommy Dreamer is reaching down deep. He does not want to be shown up by the young blood of CZW as he starts full time in the combat zone here tonight. Adam Cole powering up Tommy Dreamer. Try for a straight jacket oh. suplex. Some in his best part. Oh, oh God. And Dreamer taking out Adam Cole and the referee in the process. Into a cover. Oh no, they're Papa Giorgio. He's incapacitated right now. That was Tommy's own fault. It is Tommy's fault, and he realizes it. But the problem is, Adam Cole is catching his breath right now. But Dreamer staying on Adam Cole. And there's Adam Cole right back to that leg. Oh, that super kick right to the knee. Oh! Well, he deserved that. I'm in favor of beating up our officials. Well, that might have been stupid of Adam Cole as he puts in the figure four, and Nick Papadrodio's completely out of it now. And imagine what that's doing to Tommy Dreamer's bad knee. Uh-oh, uh-oh, here comes Sammy Callahan. Hey, he doesn't belong here. Oh, so oh God! Jesus Christ! That's not legal.
match shouldn't be happening. DJ Hyde, as much as I love the creator of CZW, made a rash decision putting the money against Masada. This is a man who just tears people apart for a living and gets off doing it. How's Adam Cole gonna be able to enjoy the company of Mia Yim after this match? Because he's gonna be all battered, whether he comes out victorious or not. He can't be thinking of Mia Yim for this one. That's so hard not to do! Masada is a completely different animal. It's something that Adam Cole has never seen. He's like, sure, last month he took on Drake Younger at the 13th anniversary. Drake Younger is known to be ultra violent. But Masada is just one step sicker, more violent than Drake Younger's ever been. And Adam Cole realizes that, smartly going to the outside, retreating in her own fashion. I, I more agree with the fans here. Oh, come on now. I don't think they realize they're going to get in his head if they keep chanting these negative slanderous comments to him. And he, he, he's got to have his best. He's going to get the ultra the beast, Masada. The man who just torn everybody apart since Torment of Death 10. He's just trying to think of a way to get out of this match right now. That's what I have to do. Hey, no one, no one would think any less about him Cole if he just left this one. But look at him, smart now. Trying to sucker Masada into a chain wrestling game. And maybe that's not a good idea either. No, so Masada is a trained professional wrestler himself, not just an ultra-violent athlete. Well, that's the key there, athlete. Both these men are tremendous athletes. Adam Cole, the best of the best 10 winner, and the longest reigning junior heavyweight champion in CZW history. Masada now, breaking out of that chain and taking Adam Cole down to the mat. And Adam Cole quickly to get to the bottom rope to break the hole. Well, that's smartly. Whoa. Well, you know. Listen to the reaction Masada gets everywhere he goes. He truly is an ultraviolet superstar. There's no denying that at all. But you know what? Maybe he's underestimating Adam Cole. Cole? There's no timeouts for wrestling. Since when? Masada has had enough, and he is on the chase of Adam Cole and me and you. Oh, are you kidding me? You can't hit a lady. Okay, she might get hit later on tonight in the TLC match, but you can't hit a lady when she's not in a match against you. sure Messiah doesn't care who he has to go through. Oh! Smart strategy by Adam Cole. That is the same leg that Messiah broke a bone in last year. And it never fully healed because he never took any time off. No, if the cameras get closer, you can still see the scar from where they had to go in and operate on it. Yeah, and three days after that operation, Messiah is back in the ring competing. Adam Cole has pinpointed that shit and is going to town on it. Leg lace. Adam Cole realizes he can injure the leg of Masada, bring him to the mat, and that's where they're the same size. Adam Cole now stalking. Oh, wait, it's the ultra violent beast. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on. Adam Cole's not coming on anything. How is this guy ever junior heavyweight champion the way he's acting here? Because he's got a boat. Yeah, he does have a pole left town. I don't understand why he's hiding every chance he gets. There's no factual evidence for that, people. Well, I'm pretty sure this is the factual evidence right here. Hiding behind me again, hiding behind the ropes. And this is just infuriating the beast. And Masada now. Masada now going in. Oh! And Taking a little too much time there. Adam Cole really needs this win. He's come off two huge losses. One to Callahan at Night of Infamy and another three huge losses. Also to Devin Moore in Excellent Adventure and last time at the 13th anniversary against the ultra-violent Golden Boy. 
Yeah, Adam Cole is on a losing streak, and I don't. Oh, wait a second. Adam Cole is going to work on that injury that Masada suffered 24 hours ago in another match. That open wound. Masada was actually burned by Fireball last night in his match, oh, and Adam Cole knows that. Oh. But it takes a lot to stop Masada. Yeah. He's a tormented that champion. He, he worked, what, three matches completely bruised, battered, and bloodied? Yeah, he's been in the last two games of death. This man is a war-torn hero of ultraviolence. Now, he's a man that hasn't been pinned in, since Tournament of Death. The man has not been pinned. He hasn't been pinned since in 10 months. 10 months, in fact. And that match that he was pinned in, he actually had. That was just about a few weeks after that broken leg we were talking about earlier. Yes. Adam Cole now being backed up off the ropes he goes. Masada dropping down, going for a knee, but Adam Cole telegraphed it, ducking the clothesline, off the road, he goes cross body, but Masada kept him. And this is not good for the Panama City Playboy. Oh, look at the power of Masada. Oh, but look at Cole with a knee. Here we go. Adam Cole once again pointing out, and those educated feet dropping Masada down to the mat. And what an injury by Adam Cole. And a running knee right to the mouth. And we got to cover here one, two, but Masada able to grab onto the bottom rope. And you can see he's starting to bleed a little bit from that injured forehead. That wound was reopened by Adam Cole earlier this evening. And Adam Cole now, he's not going fancy with his offense. He's going smart and strategic, just choking Masada right there. Trying to suck the life out of him. Mia Yim now, just looking on at the ultraviolet beast as Adam Cole goes to work on his prey. Yeah, I think it's smart that Mia Yim stays far away from this, as later on tonight she has a TLC match against Greg Exum. And she needs to be 100% for that match. Oh, what? Oh my God! Paul Barrett, Panama City Playboy, just fighting the flesh of Masada. I'm surprised Adam Cole got some ultra violence in there. Hey, Adam Cole will do what it takes to win. Oh, we've seen that plenty of times. Cole attempted the oh. German. Trying again. Oh! Bridging it, one, two. But only a two count. Well, he said Adam Cole hasn't let go of the waist lock here. Hardly holding on, not letting Masada create any separation. Always oh, that Masada drops him down. And this is not good for Adam Cole, because Masada has now grounded the former junior heavyweight champion. A yeah, hitman style leg submission by Masada. The official might want to check the shoulders of Cole, actually. Well, I'm not sure how, how well this official is after that controversial decision last month at the 13th anniversary. Spinning Native using the famous spinning toe, famous by the Funk family. Being sent off the ropes, up and over he goes. Light lacing Adam Cole, and going for that toe hold again. Wait, hold on. Wait, is he? Indian Deathlock. about to say, Indian Deathlock. Impressive submission maneuver from the ultra pilot beast. Come on, man. Adam Cole definitely needs to get to the ropes. May Yim trying to push the ropes closer to her boyfriend. Just the immense pain the Panama City Playboy must be in. And look at him. Look at him fight through the pain and reach that bottom rope. I don't know. I think this, is the, this crowd has already been on the side of side for months now. But I think they're even more so because no one really has ever seen Masada really get down and dirty with technical wrestling until here tonight at Aerial Assault. Masada's got several different sides, got several different layers to his ability. And tonight he's plus out of side. We haven't seen a while here. He's got, and look at Cole. Can't even run or balance himself on that bad wheel now. Masada has done some severe damage to the leg of Adam Cole. Wait a second. He's going for a power bomb, but Adam Cole going for that sleeper hold. Trying to cut off the flow of the brain with that sleeper hold, and it might be all Adam Cole can do. 
heel if he can't stand on that leg. The side of foot yeah. coming up. Oh, super kick to the back of the head. Maybe the most super yeah. kick of all time. Masada was in to go down. We got a sleeper hold now. Adam, Adam Cole's got the whole body in a sleeper hold pretty much. Adam Cole has found a hold that will definitely slow down Masada, make his power advantage less useful. Because even once you get out of a sleeper hold, after it's been pulling up, cutting off the flow of blood to your brain, you don't move at the same speed or have the same power for a long period of time. No, absolutely not. This is actually a smart strategy here by Adam Cole. Because as long as Masada is walking... Oh, yeah. oh no. Masada! Mia Yim, premature celebration. She's used to people having premature things around her. But now we see Masada just fighting out of it. Carrying the former junior this is, champion on his back. This is not good for Adam Cole. Because as long as Masada is moving, he is a dangerous human being. There's still life left in the Ultraviolet Underground Champion, but you can see the effects that sleeper and the super kick to the back of the head have is moving slower now. He is moving a little slower. As he places Adam Cole to the top rope. And what does Masada have planned now? Well, he called the move for you already. But he also made Adam Cole aware of what's next, what lies in his future. And Cole is just fighting for his own well-being now. Oh, is he fighting his forehead again? Yeah, that's how people fight in Panama City. They just don't look as good as Adam Cole generally. Uh, trying to shape feeling back in that leg. He needs full mobility. Yes! Oh my lord. What an egotistical maniac. I cross body! Oh, he was caught. Look at the power of Masada! My god, this is scary, the strength of... Oh, holy hell! Sit up, Pat the Ultraviolet Beast! Talk about a high-impact power bomb. But we see Masada having trouble going for a lateral press afterwards. Yeah, that sleeper hole took a lot out of him. We gotta cover one. Two. Oh, Adam Cole kicking out at about two and a half, two and three quarters there. Well, Adam Cole is proven to be resilient. We've seen the battles he's had with men like A.R. Fox and Sammy Callahan. He's taken a beating, and through that time, he always remained junior heavyweight champion. But tonight, he's dealing with a whole different beast. He's dealing with Masada, a man with no conscience. Adam Cole back on the attack. Oh no. Masada is like Frankenstein. He is just getting completely pissed off now. Nothing is going to take the big man off his feet now. And look at that Cole able to get out of it. The speed and quickness of Adam Cole keeping his hopes alive for a victory here at Ariel Assault. You gotta cover here. One, two, and oh! Whoa! So close to a three count. So close to finally breaking the losing streak. On dozens of occasions, that move, the Corona Crash, put down dozens of challenges in the Junior Heavyweight Championship. But it wasn't enough to put down Masada. Oh, no. Masada. Innovative roll up here. Cover one, two. Only a two count. Oh! A super kick of his own. Got a cover here. One, two, and a couple. But in at the last second, Mia Yim smart enough to just, uh, Mia Yim and DJ High smart enough to jerk Lauderdale out of that ring. Are you kidding me? Are you joking around? This is CZW, man. This is ridiculous. The owner of the combat zone interjecting himself into this match. A match at Masada had one. Super kick here. We got a couple. One, two, and five. Only a two count. There is no stopping a Masada. A money shot super kick was good enough to beat town. Put down the beast. The monster cannot be killed. Masada.
is the cult hero of this crowd. This man cannot be pinned. Another super, oh, he caught it. The first capture suplex. One, two, three. Masada taking out Adam Cole and infuriating the owner of the combat zone. The inventor of the Larry has been very disappointed in the money recently. Adam Cole, the man he branded as the star of this company, the face of CZW, has been letting him down, has been disappointing him. The third straight huge loss for Adam Cole has come out of CCW event. Masada walks out of this one. Proving he's the better man when he's been through a battle himself. Tonight, 
at best of the best ten. And look at this, both men in their respective corners just staring each other down. Two years of hatred is gonna culminate tonight. Who is the better man? Who is the best wrestler in CZW? Adam Cole or Sammy Callahan? Tonight we're gonna find that out. But what also has to be weighing on Sammy Callahan's mind is this secret that DJ Hyde said he had last week at WrestleCon. Look at the disrespect both men are showing to each other. Usually in big matches, oh God! Usually in big matches like this, you see some sort of respect, but these two men absolutely hate each other. Yeah, you're not gonna get that respect here. Oh. As Sammy Callahan with a trifecta of boot oh. scrapes in the corner. Impressive here. Quite frankly, shocking myself as I've been very critical of the death machine. Oh! In big match situations. Really, the last big match that he won was that night of infamy. Oh! Oh, wow. Well, he won best of the best last year. True. Adam Cole defeated Sammy Callahan at Best of the Best two years ago, like we've already stated. Callahan, though, did not get his hands on Adam Cole at Best of the Best. Sammy Callahan has not beaten Adam Cole since they've reignited this battle. Oh, but this is definitely a different Sammy Callahan here tonight. Driven on! Looking to close this match out early. Maybe that secret that, he's, that he has Maybe it's that secret that is driving the new horror right now as it goes in for, oh, another shot. And right now it's all Sammy Callahan. Adam Cole hasn't even gotten a single bit of offense thus far. This is quite surprising. Usually we oh, God. I go back and forth action in the early going, but Adam Cole has just gotten zero offense in. Sammy Callahan is a man possessed. When Sammy Callahan is in a rage like this, he's almost unstoppable. He's just walking around the ring with him. And now, oh, nowhere for Adam Cole to go. Oh, look at that. Sammy just spitting into the palm of his hand. Oh. And Adam Cole just got the break he needed. Watch Cole though. He takes his time to gloat, but he made sure he pushed Callahan hard into those guardrails beforehand. I don't think it's about gloating right now. I think it's about Adam Cole getting a little break here from Sammy Callahan. Well, you gotta be careful with all this gloating. Sammy Callahan, he's definitely one of those wrestlers that you're gonna wanna stay on top of. Oh, definitely. Sammy Callahan's very resilient, but Adam Cole knows that. This is the man who defeated Sammy Callahan at Best of the Best, the, the finals of the Best of the Best 10 tournament, and defeated him this year at Cage of Death. Uh, Sammy's much like A.R. Fox in the respect that you don't want to give him any space at all, like we talked about in the previous match, Dan. Oh, God! Look at this! Oh, God Almighty! Hard to the side of the ring goes to spy of the Panama City Playboy. And that's exactly what I was talking about. Adam Cole gave Sammy Callahan way too much time, and what did he get? Power bombed on the ring apron. One and these fans are just giddy at the thought of Adam Cole being power bombed once again, hard into the side of the ring. Unbelievable. Well, that's not factual, Sammy. But Adam Cole just brutalized by that Callahan powerbomb into the front row. Oh, 
Callahan's not done yet. Oh! oh! But neither is Cole. Don't count Adam Cole down. He is calculated. And he connected in the face of Sammy Callahan with that vicious super kick. Every time Adam Cole has gotten back at Sammy Callahan here tonight, that it's meant it. Uh, finally gets him onto his back. The one super kick is not going to be enough to keep the death machine down. But both these men have so many explosive moves in their arsenal. They're ready to use them on their opponents. Nice suplex by Adam Cole. Textbook. And Sammy, he's not staying down at all. Barely even a count of one there. Adam Cole now finally able to stalk Sammy Callahan. Now he gets to be Cole and Cat. Oh, maybe not. Oh, look, oh, the viciousness of Adam Cole. See, he goes from a sadistic side to a super fun side, all in a split second. This is how diverse Adam Cole is. Here we see Adam Cole sending Sammy Callahan, sternum and solar plexus first into that turnbuckle there. Better be careful, he's taking too long to show but every chance, every moment he gives Sammy Callahan is just a moment for the death machine to regenerate. And you're right, I don't think anyone regenerates quite like the Callahan death machine. This man just comes back and he'll hit you with one of his hard front kicks out of nowhere, one of his hard strikes. That's what Adam Cole has to watch for, and that's why he's taking Sammy Callahan down to the mat right now. Is this crowd willing the Callahan Death oh. Machine back into this match? Oh, my God. oh God! Blistering oh. shot. Cole's chest and raw meat by the end of this match. But that's only if Callahan can sustain his momentum. He can get his offensive flurries going. Adam Cole's done a great job of halting Callahan's momentum all match. Picking up the odds. Look at the look on the death machine's face right now. Oh, every turnbuckle shot that Callahan takes just ignites the fire, ignites the hatred for Adam Cole. And look at him. There's a lot of bad intentions that mine on Sammy Callahan, and Cole has to make sure they are not inflicted on him what Callahan has in store. Oh, just look at them exchange forearm blows right in the middle of the rain. Oh, Both men going off the ropes. Oh! Two men, one idea. That's almost an example of how. Oh! This is an example of how alike these two men are. But Sammy and Callahan getting the better of that exchange. Really taking Adam Cole out of his boots with that clothesline there. You just see Sammy Callahan, he's just so exhausted. So much has been taken out of him so far. Oh, talking about Callahan, Adam Cole just as exhausted as oh. Sammy Callahan. He also just got drilled with a killer lariat, too. And a oh. steam by me in the boot. Jesus, like a horror monster. That's why he was called the new horror for much of his career here in CCW. Fresh on Cole's face. Here we go, another power. Oh, wait, and Cole. A little bit too much momentum. Oh, God. Snap DVD by the Death Machine. We got a cover here. One, two, and oh! That's Sammy Callahan. He just lured Adam Cole into that. He lured Adam Cole into pushing him from behind so he could drill him with that Death Valley driver there. 
Yeah, and Sammy Callahan is going into full active death machine mode right now. Oh, Up the ropes. Oh, good. Well, here comes Nick Papa Giorgio. Almost hit his nose sliding into the ring. Oh! Two count only. Cole would have had him had referee Kimmy Gibbler not been knocked out moments before him. Yeah, but Adam Cole wouldn't have forgotten the best of that exchange if it wasn't for Chris Levine being knocked the hell out. Look at Adam Cole now. Adam Cole has something in mind going to the outside. We don't normally see Cole initiate action on the outside. That was cool looking for. What the hell is that? He's got a bat. That is a, a bag in the shape of a belt. Absolutely. Oh! Were you looking at that? That is what started it. The junior had the best of the best tournament, but this evolved into a feud, a battle, a war for that junior heavyweight championship that Sammy Callahan eventually took from the Panama City Playboy. And now the Funk Championship coming from our archives, I guess. Nick Papa Giorgio trying to successfully take the championship. Oh! oh! There we go! And there's Adam Cole. Belt back in hand. The championship he held longer than anyone in CZW history. It looks like he's gonna try and knock out the Callahan death machine with it. No, no! Oh, look at the extension he got on that bicycle kick. Oh, wait a second. The two sweet power bomb right on to that championship belt. Jack knifed him. And the stretch muffler. That it. The most thick that it's got. And the most feared move in CZW history. And here comes your blood. Adam Cole is in pure agony right now. Oh, He's being cinched up by the Callahan death machine. The same way Callahan took that junior heavyweight championship from Cole at Night of Infamy with this very home. Look at it. Kicks to the back of the head. Adam Cole might be knocked out. Well, Adam Cole defeated Sammy Callahan this very way by knocking. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he got to the ropes. Well, Adam Cole, like I said, defeated Sammy Callahan in their finals at Best of the Best two years ago with his own stretch muffler by the fact that Callahan passed out due to the pain. Not, not to mention the fact that Adam Cole had some underhanded tactics to get that, that stretch muffler in. You settled that. I hear the crowd come alive here. These two athletes definitely are awesome. Laying it all on the line here. They want to show that they are the absolute best. Oh. Frank Town Chops. Adam Cole now being set to the top by Ooh, Sammy Callahan, who uses his warped mind as a weapon. Sammy Callahan has both arms hooked. Adam Cole fighting out of it. Solid shots right to the gut. Drops him down face first, Gord Buster style. Uh oh, this is. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh! That is it. That has got to be it. One, two, and. Oh! oh! The Panama Sunrise. Still not enough to keep Sammy Callahan down. That's the move that allowed Adam Cole to remain the longest running junior heavyweight champion in CZW history of 18 months. That move has brought him so many huge victories. This one little mistake costing Adam Cole there, not hooking the leg. You gotta think if he had a, a better... Another mistake is, look at Adam Cole taking a sweet old time. 
tuning up the band over here? I guess so. He's about to tune up the band and dance all over the face of Sammy Callahan if he has his way. Get up, Sammy! Oh, Sammy's telling him to speak. Look at him. Oh! Oh, wait a second! Right into the stretch muffler! I think the hate's mutual! I think you're right! Oh, look and how deep he's got it! Oh, oh, no. the one, two, and no! Oh, so close! Every fan in this building is on the edge of their seat. Oh, that's a gurry. Gonna go for it again. Oh, oh look at Callahan! Somehow absorbing Cole's biggest guns. Look at the defiance oh. from Sammy Callahan. Oh, oh, X flex. One, two, and three. Whoa. Like it or not, throughout the annals of the CZW history book, forever, Adam Cole will be known as just one step ahead to better than Sammy Callahan. Forever, Callahan will be number two to Adam Cole. You want to talk about things living up to their hype? This match had so many fans clamoring, so many fans excited going into it. And these two put on one of the greatest action-packed matches I've ever seen here in CGW. No matter what you think of either personally, every single fan in this building, every single wrestler in CGW realizes that these two are the pinnacle of talent that have ever competed in the combat zone before. profiled Adam Cole, one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. We'll see you next time on CZW's Stars of Today.